Lilith, the mother of monsters, has risen. Desperate to unite her children, she will go to any lengths to succeed. However, a prophecy predicts the rise of heroes from all corners of the supernatural world. Together they will battle Lilith to save the world from her evil grasp. Hi everyone, this is Carrie, aka Nerdy Girl Creates, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Wednesday Rewind, where we take a look at some of my favorite back issues and maybe a few I've missed along the way. This week we're going to look at Marvel's Rise of the Midnight Suns, a six-part series that crosses over multiple issues, starting with Ghost Rider number 28, Spirits of Vengeance number 1, Morbius number 1, Darkhold number 1, Night Stalkers number 1, and Ghost Rider number 31. The first issue, Ghost Rider number 28, is written by Howard Mackey with art by Andy Kubert, with inker Joe Kubert. In this issue, the most current Ghost Rider, Danny Ketch, suffer suffered a fatal blow from blackout in his human form. Unable to transfer back, Ghost Rider goes on a vengeance spree, only to be stopped by former Ghost Rider Johnny Blaze. Reluctantly agreeing to help Danny find a way to survive, Blaze accompanies Ketch on his journey, unaware of the new threat that's about to emerge. Part 2 takes place in Spirits of Vengeance, number 1, written by Howard Mackey, with art by Adam Kubert. The story continues with Ghost Rider and Johnny Blaze as they arrive in Brooklyn. After an unexpected class with cops, Blaze is riddled with guilt and begins to question why he has agreed to help Ketch. Since he's been freed by the Ghost Rider, Johnny has had a normal life with a wife and two kids, waiting for him back home at the circus he now owns. However, when Ketch shares his vision of Lilith, the mother of monsters, Johnny is determined to follow through on his promise. The story continues in Morbius No. 1, Part 3 of a six-part series. Written by Len Kaminsky and art by Ron Wagner, Morbius, the living vampire still struggling to deal with his bloodlust, is searching for his missing fiancée, Martine Bancroft. Bancroft went missing after she depended on Dr. Lanford to cure her love of his affliction. While on the search, Ketch and Blaze show up, seeking out Morbius after seeing him within a vision. Darkhold No. 1 is the fourth entry into the series. Written by Christian Cooper and art by Richard Case. A mysterious little person delivers a black envelope to wealthy businessman Donald Walsh. An unspeakable evil is unleashed, possessing him. Physician Victoria Montesi, her father, a priest, Vittorio Montesi, Interpol agent Sam Buchanan, and occultist Louise Hastings are dragged into the wrath of the Book of Sins, known as the Darkhold. They team up with Johnny Blaze and Ghost Rider to track down the missing pages of the Darkhold. The fifth chapter takes place in Night Stalkers, number one, written by D.G. Chichester and art by Ron Garney. In this issue, we're introduced to the trio of Blade, Frank Drake, and Hannibal King. Blade, who has recently been institutionalized in a psych ward, is suddenly released unbeknownst to him that Dr. Strange has convinced his doctor to release him. Meanwhile, Hannibal King also seeks out the assistance of Dr. Strange, fearing that his former vampiric nature is taking back over. Frank Drake, having a vision of Lilith while visiting an aquarium with his wife, discovers his wife in a catonic state. Later, Blade, Hannibal, and Frank meet up at the borderline investigation surfaces, where Lilith, in human disguise, employs them to hunt Ghost Rider and Johnny Blaze. The story concludes in Ghost Rider number 31 written by Howard Mackey and art by Andy Kubert. All the players from the last five issues are united by Doctor Strange to face off with Lilith and her children. The situation, however, is complicated. The mother of demons has bond Danny Ketch's soul with one of her deceased. Will the Midnight Sun succeed in defeating Lilith, and will they be able to rescue Danny Ketch in time? So what do I like so much about this storyline? First off, you have two ghost writers. The former, Johnny Blaze, who's now trying to live a normal life with his wife and kids. And Danny Ketch, the newly christened Ghost Rider. You have Blaze struggling with trying to keep away from the supernatural world, but also feeling guilt over Danny Ketch's curse. Danny, meanwhile, is struggling to deal with the demonic force within him, while also trying to survive the wound that has been afflicted on him by Blackout. You also get introduced to the Blade movie fans are more familiar with. 
no longer wearing goggles and wielding stakes, you get the black leather and katana wielding blade everybody is familiar with. You also have a really interesting villain in this with Lilith and her children. Each issue deals with a different aspect of that. I also like the Darkhold Redeemers. They're a little known comic compared to all the other players in this. Um, especially with the Darkhold now gaining popularity in the MCU. It'd be nice to see them bring these characters back. The storyline usually consists around them trying to find missing pages from the Darkhold and undoing the curse that they deliver to whoever possesses them. I also like Morbius's plot in this. It might not be as long as some of the other characters, but for Morbius, who's better known as a Spider-Man villain, he gets to show his heroic side in this. He might be still struggling with the bloodlust and hoping for a cure. At least he gets to use those powers against Lilith and to show his worth as a character in the comics. I was disappointed in Doctor Strange's role in this series. He plays more of a background character, despite being the Sorcerer Supreme. They come up with an excuse on why he can't fight Lilith directly, and it kind of feels weak. Um, he's more there to get everybody together and to push them in the right direction so the prophecy fulfills. But still, it would have been nice to see him play a bigger role in this. If you're interested in this comic series, I would suggest checking out your local comic book store for back issues or eBay. If you do purchase the graphic novel, it does include additional issues, including Web of Spider-Man numbers 95 to 96 and Ghost Rider Blaze Spirits of Vengeance number 4 through 6. Well, that's it for Wednesday Rewind. If there's any back issues you would like me to check out in a future episode, please leave it below in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll see you in the next video.